When I was four I fell off of a fence and cracked my skull. My father had just passed away so my mother was pretty emotionally distraught at the prospect of her son sustaining a serious injury as well. It turned out not to be a big deal at all and everything healed nicely. But as you can imagine, for the rest of my childhood I was never not reminded to wear a helmet in any activity where I'd be off the ground or moving in a vehicle. Heck she still asks whether I wore a helmet if I tell her I went on a bike ride. Be sure to wear a helmet. You don't want to crack your skull again. Thanks mom. I will. Throwing a dart into my brother's bare foot because I convinced myself I was good enough to throw it. Exactly between his toes. Ugh. When I dated an interesting guy for a bit in high school. He was really into swords. Every new guy the first meet. The first thing they say is, but how many swords does he have? They think they're pretty darn funny. When my brother was really little he was really into WWF and WWE. He wanted to be a wrestler and he started calling himself the Muscle Man, but he couldn't pronounce muscle, so it came out Muffin. We still call him the Muffin Man. He's 27. When I was 6 or 7, I was outside playing on our swing set. As I was swinging, I was looking at the ground and saw a fruit snack. It was covered in dirt but I stopped swinging, picked it up, blew the dirt off, and was about to stick it in my mouth when suddenly I hear my mom banging on the dining room window, motioning me to come inside. She told me if I wanted a fruit snack I just needed to ask and then she gave me a pack of Themis your Shay has told this story to every friend or boyfriend I have ever introduced her to. It's not even that funny or great of a story, but it's the one story she has that she thinks will embarrass me. But I was a kid, and I saw a fruit snack. Of course I was going to try to eat it. A few years ago I was eating dinner with my mom and brother and started choking on a piece of food. Couldn't breathe, couldn't speak, I fell out of my chair and writhed on the floor before managing to dislodge the food. The entire time my mom and brother laughed because they thought I was joking, and then yelled at me for not letting them know I was joking. Almost four years later if I even remotely choke on anything they remind me to fall onto the floor, so that they know I'm being serious. I didn't get to walk in my high school graduation, had to go to two weeks of summer school, over some bull garbage, but whatever, I've graduated college graduated graduate school, walked at all of them just for my momasur I'm now a full-time college professor and my mom still holds not walking in my high school graduation over my head. Not me but my brother. He did a lot of odd things as a kid to be honest but this frequently gets brought up. As a young teenager like 13 to 15 he was constantly sneaking up on people. I guess he thought he was working on his recon skills. But when my dad would have his pals over drinking around a fire my brother would sneak up on them by belly crawling in the grass. They always saw him as year. I was 14. I was really into this guy that was older than me and had a beard. My dad was upset anyways. My dad hated this guy. Would ground me to keep me away from him. Reasonably so. So we would meet up at the local mall. And I would tell my dad I was meeting up with some friends, so one day he drops me off and says, You. Better not be meeting up with that Tyler kid. And I said, Of course not I am so well behaved. ETC ETC ETC. I go in and meet up with Tyler. Obviously, so he buys me some stuff from Hot Topic. And at Hot Topic when you use your membership card it will say your name at the top of the receipt. I get home and my dad knows he didn't give me money. But I had a huge Hot Topic bag. I told him my friend had birthday money and bought it for me. Cue suspicious looks, so later that night he calls me into the kitchen and says, So you didn't see Tyler today? Instant denials. And he grabs the Hot Topic bag and reads the receipt. Hey Tyler, thanks for visiting Hot Topic. Your point balance is XXX, I was grounded for three weeks and I didn't get to keep the stuff, my dad. 
brings this up all the time to tell me what it sleuth he is. So when I was six to seven, we were visiting Georgia cause one of my uncles was dying. It was a really solemn affair. Not a lot of fun. And sort of a miserable time for everyone. So little me. A bit bored. And looking for something to get my mind off of things. Started chasing their cat around because I loved cats. A lot. Like in that little kid way that cats hate. Where you just pick them up in a bear hug and squeeze them until they claw at you to get away. So I'm chasing this cat. And it runs through its cat tunnel on the cat scratch post palace thing it had. Obviously, I launch myself flat out into this thing after it. And wedge my arms against myself with my elbows. And my hands just stuck right in front of my face. I made it about halfway through the tunnel. I struggled for like 20 minutes by myself trying to get out. And man, I'm just stuck. So finally I started crying. And my family heard and came over. I'm all embarrassed cause I can't get out. And they're just laughing like crazy. Finally, my oldest brother says, I'll get him out, grabs me by the ankles. And with all his might his 13 year old self could muster. Yanks my jeans clean off. My whitey tighty bums just out there for to see. I was mortified, and they just laughed and laughed. Like several of them fell onto the ground laughing. They did finally rescue me by pulling my hands through. So I wasn't so wedged in there. I guess all in all. It helped them get some laughter in a sucky time. It gets brought up from time to time. But really it's fine. Whenever my parents are talking with other parents about shenanigans pulled by young children my dad likes to bring up the time he came home from work to see three-year-old me up on the kitchen counter with an entire package of cinnamon raisin bagels having been split in half and the raisin. He asked me what I was doing and I very proudly exclaimed, I'm eating raisins. Quote, when I was a couple months old, I was being really fussy and my parents didn't know why. I think I was naked on a changing table. And then I sort of curled up and unloaded a massive amount of projectile poop on the wall. My parents think it's hilarious. But I just find the story to be rather embarrassing and gross. My Jewish mother still reminds me how she was in labor for 10 hours before I was born. It's like it was my fault in that I had some control over it. She says, you don't remember, but it's the truth. Of course I don't remember. Ma, that's just the typical Jewish guilt machine working its wonders. I made a bad grade in high school for not turning in my assignment. That was over 10 years ago and they still use it to question my work ethic. Oh another one came to mind so here. As a kid I thought there were five seasons. Summer, fall, winter spring and easter now every year on easter they tell me how it's lovely that the season has changed and spring is already over for five years old went to dairy queen it was august and as i sat in the back seat enjoying my dilly bar it was melting faster than i could eat it we were at a light when my dad noticed the mess i was making on his thunderbird seats he reached back and held out his hand and said give me that so I did. Plopped it in his hand. Splattering melted ice cream all over the car. The I was the flower girl at a wedding. All they told me was to sprinkle the petals on the aisle as I walked. Being a fastidious kid, I made a nice, neat row of petals down one side of the aisle. Mom loves to bring that up. And there's even a picture of the perfect row of petals. Opposite. Back in the 1990s my mother constantly gave me tons of garbage for buying Pokemon cards. They'll be worthless in a few years. Etc. Etc. It got to the point where she confiscated my collection. Permanently. Because I got grounded for something school related. Years later. Whilst in college. I returned home and rummaged through my old belongings and found my old Pokemon card collection, sold a few different cards for a total of about $3,000 then used that to buy her really nice Mother's Day present. I make sure to bring it up to her at least once per year. They asked if there was a flood and I could only save two people who would it be? 
I answered my dogs. I'm not particularly artistic and it's never really been a part of my identity. Regardless, I could draw competently as a kid, and I once brought home a cabin I drew in art class in 7th grade. It was alright-ish. My mom was just flabbergasted. She's told literally every girlfriend I bring home, and every new group of friends I make. I'm now 44 years old, and she is still going on about it.